morning, Red Mill. This is Dr. Miller, and today is Tuesday, April the 7th. And I just have to tell you how much I miss seeing your smiling faces as you come in the lobby every day at school. I know your teachers are also missing you, and I can't wait till we're back all together again next fall. So, you know, one thing I'd like to do is to try to have morning announcements each day. So, Miss Karras, Miss Parker, and Miss Witt, we're all going to take turns doing morning announcements starting today. So I'll have Tuesdays. So I like to start off by first going over our birthdays and I'll start with yesterday's birthdays. And let me tell you, there are a lot of you born on April the 6th. Seven birthdays here on April the 6th. We have Avery in Miss Bunn's room, Sonia in Miss Reed's room, Turner in Miss Pierce's room, Piper in Miss Morris's room, Tiffany in Miss Bradley's room, and Reagan in Mr. Coach's room. And it also was Miss Swan's birthday yesterday as well. So happy birthday to all of you. And there are two of you celebrating birthdays today, and that's Emilio in Mr. Coach's room and Mariana in Miss Gin's room. So happy birthday. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I know it's probably not what you planned for on your birthday, but you're making the best of it, and I love that great attitude. I know the weather outside has been really nice lately, and it makes me think about a lot of gardening and yard work. And I like to work in my yard, but you know, sometimes working in my yard can be kind of overwhelming. And I start thinking, my yard doesn't look very good, and there's a lot of work. I'm never gonna be able to do that. Well, I have to tell you, yard work takes time. And one way to kind of overcome that feeling of being overwhelmed is to take things little by little. You know, if I was to look at my whole yard, I would be like, I'm never gonna accomplish this. But instead, I take it bit by bit. Maybe today, I'll just focus on weeding this section. Or tomorrow, I'll focus on raking that section. You know, just like in your life, there are a lot of times that you have things that happen or things you have to do that may seem overwhelming. Maybe it's a project for school, or maybe your parents want you to organize your baseball cards or clean out your closet. You know, sometimes that can be overwhelming. But if we take it bit by bit, little by little, step by step, we can turn that overwhelming task into one that can be accomplished. So I challenge you today not to feel overwhelmed, but to take it step by step. That's something to think about. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday.